Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Melinda, I go by Mel. Me and my husband, Adeen, we have a reselling business and I'm back today to do another What's Sold. I know it has been like a good gap between when I did my last one, but like everybody else, we get really busy at the end of the year. There was so much going on. Obviously the holidays, those eat into a good chunk of time. And being a mom, I'm always trying to coordinate, you know, the magic of Christmas and doing those fun things. Uh, we had a great holiday. We had a couple days off, which was just wonderful. It was much needed. I really enjoyed just having those two days where I didn't have to do anything. And we had a couple personal things going on. We have launched our 2023 spreadsheet, which I personally use every single day. And it is gonna be so easy this year to just get our numbers to the tax person. I basically have just been doing it every single morning. So all our numbers are in there. We know what we made, what we sold, our business expenses, all of the things that our CPA needs to let us know what we have to pay in taxes or if we get a refund. Because it's been an extra few weeks, I'm going to do 20 sales. I'm gonna do 10 from each platform that we sell on, which is Poshmark and eBay. And for eBay, I have three sales that are not closed. So we are still selling some hard goods. We listed a few at the end of the year and then just some old inventory that we clear out periodically. So I'm gonna be sharing those as well. I'll be popping up the sales next to me as well as if it was a good picture of the brand name, I'll be posting that too so that when you see it out in the wild, you know what it looks like and you can see it on site. They say that switching up the angles keeps you more interested, so welcome to my study corner. I'm gonna go over the posh sales from our nice chair that we found for free on our neighbor's curb. This is like a $2,500 chair that they just were like, yeah, free. You should have seen how fast I went back for it. Anyway, to start us off with sales, I have a three for one, it's a Poshmark sale. We've had a number of bundles over the last few weeks, which has been really nice. You know how it is, you like to clear out as much inventory as possible at once. And a lot of it has sprinkled in some older stuff and a few more uh, quote unquote basic pieces, which we don't pay a lot for. And it's just really nice to see them go. And they're sort of like extras when you put them into bundles because it allows us to negotiate the price better. In this video, if you guys remember last video, we said we were going to do a giveaway of a mystery box. We are going to tell you who won and how many items we actually have unlisted in our warehouse. So this first one was jeans and then two basic shirts. And it was seven for all mankind, which is very solid, especially for men's jeans which is what these were. These were men's and they went for $25. And then the shirts were 15 and 20. For bundles, we allow about a 20% wiggle room. So this was probably about 20% more. Uh, it doesn't allow me to see what it originally was, but we sold all three of them for $40 and then they paid for shipping on it as well. So as you can see, we made a total of 32 for that one. This next one, it's gonna come as no surprise boots are selling right now it's been very dry since we've had a major snowstorm here uh in west michigan but you know i'm still wearing my boots everywhere we still send jessica with her boots you just never know and it's cold outside and merrill is a very quality brand this is also a popular style so they sold for 48 dollars, and nine is also a good size that seven to nine is the prime average size women's foot so when I see seven, eight, nine, especially eight, eight and a half, those can always sell for just a little bit more because your market's a little bit higher. I'm gonna follow up those boots with a pair of girls' snow pants, which as a mother of a girl, I've had to stop at numerous thrift stores because I just don't wanna pay full price for something I'm not sure she's even gonna wear for two seasons. Well, I know she won't wear it for two seasons. I don't even know if it'll get her through one if I buy one. So very hot commodity i can never find them i had to take out the seams of the ones she's still wearing so these even though they're girls and kids clothes as you probably know from experience unless it's a really high-end brand they tend to not hold their value quite as much because like me you don't want to pay a lot of money for something your kid isn't going to fit for very long so these were girls 12 and too big for my for my daughter, I checked. Uh, and they sold for $25. We had them listed for 30. So that was a $5 off offer that we accepted. Very, very happy with that. If we can sell anything kid related for 20 plus and they're gonna pay shipping, that's ideal. 
Now this style you can see is also, you know, the whole, the whole top as well. And that seemed to sell a little bit higher than, you know, just the two straps and the pants. And then more boots. Uh, so there's a theme here, right? We've always talked about this before in other what solds. You're going to be selling what the current season is mostly because that's what we're in, that's what people need, that's what they're shopping for. So UGG, as everybody knows, is a very good boot brand. They also sell other things, but they're very well known for their boots, especially their Sherpa lined boots, which is what these are. These are just a very classic UGG style. Very good condition too. They don't have a lot of that you know, salt wear that gets on there, at least where we are and where places, you know, use salt to clean the roads and the sidewalks and all of that good stuff. So these would be considered a very good condition and hence the price of $49. For the giveaway, a lot of people guessed over 700 items. If we had over 700 items that weren't accounted for, we would have no business running a warehouse. One person, Guessed over a thousand. If we had that many unaccounted for items, don't listen to us. Don't listen to us. Don't watch our videos. Don't listen to anything we say about how to make money on eBay because that's, that is not running a business. That is, that's, <laughs> I don't even know. That's running a landslide right into the ground. It's not a thousand. Someone guessed zero. <laughs> Thank you so much for believing in us so hard. Also, to anybody who guessed in the teens, thank you so much. So Hey Dude is a brand that I learned about from reselling. Uh, we've sold it a couple times now and it holds its value very well, especially the men's shoes, same style, but they just seem to sell more. And when I see them out now on people, I'm always like, I could sell that for like $45 when I see it on a dude. Um, these Hey Dudes sold to a woman, likely. It's a woman's size anyway, for $31, which is great. You know, they paid shipping. Michael Kors, I'm not sure why it always surprises me that Michael Kors holds its value so well. I guess I consider it sort of like a, a mid-level brand, which is what it is, but maybe it's because I was just, I was never really into the Michael Kors phase, but very solid. It never really sits for too long for us if we get it new with tags it always sells fast but even these pre-owned styles i mean this is just a very nice classic shirt dress very nice style sold for 25 dollars, and it's a smaller size too which does tend to usually sit a little bit longer or i'm more willing to take lower offers on smaller sizes uh just because that's not really the normal population. I always love when I see cycling stuff come from our suppliers, cycling shorts, even tops tend to retain their value if they're by a really decent brand. Pearl Izumi is a very well-known cycling brand and these full bibs, I just love pulling them out because I know that they're always gonna sell for a decent price. This one, no exception, $42. It's a woman's, you know, it has the padding on there. Very good brand, if you see any full length cycling bibs, look them up. Chances are you can get a very decent return on your money, especially if you're only paying, you know, a couple dollars, five, ten dollars even. So the actual number fell somewhere between 75 and 85 unlisted items. I'm going to show you one thing that the winner is going to get and then stay tuned for who won. This is one of the items. This is Street Fighter 2 for the Super Famicom console. You can keep it, you can sell it. This is valued at roughly $25 and it's just one of the items that you're going to get among some others. This next bundle we got from the same supplier and they're both Lily Pulitzer thong sandals. So we are selling things that are summer related even in the winter. People are always going on vacation and it's always summer somewhere. These are the same size, the same style, so it's no surprise that the same person found them, added them to a bundle, made us an offer which we accepted. We sold them both for $45. They were gonna pay shipping, one box, I love those sales. The next shoes I have are a very common brand. This is a brand that you'll probably come across often if you go to the bins or Goodwill or any thrift shop. They're New Balance. New Balances is like an everyday common brand, lots of different styles, very quality running shoe. Wide shoes always do sell better because that's very specific. I know 
I sometimes look for a very specific, you know, range of shoe. So when you have wide, it's going to up that value a little bit more. These sold for $32. Again, that was on an offer and they're going to pay shipping as well on that. I didn't really realize or I didn't really mean to make this like mostly shoes as I was putting these screenshots together. I was just sort of looking for quality sales that would be somewhat common to find, but it just worked out that way. This next one is not shoes. <laughs> it's a jacket. I I think North Face is a very quality brand. Depending on the style, it can get a little bit oversaturated. But this jacket was made in USA and it's a it's a large, so any men's size like large and above is going to be more desirable because just men are broader, so those bigger sizes sell better. Especially jackets, sweaters, because you're generally fitting that something, that sweater or that jacket over something. So you need a little bit of extra room. Same for women, you know, I usually size up with my jackets for that exact same reason. This is your very classic style, uh, just a fleece, zip up, but that USA made really helped the value there, which is why it sold for 40 and not the typical 25 to 35 range that we would normally sell this style of jacket and even 20 if it was a women's. North Face is a brand that you can find a lot of places, but like I mentioned, some of their styles or their sizes or genders don't sell as well as other ones. So unless you can get it for like, you know, like a dollar, two dollars, some styles aren't worth picking up, but even their tank tops, if we can get them for a low enough price, do tend to sell well. They don't sit for very long. So it's just a brand that holds its value across lots of different categories. The correct number of unlisted items was 83, which means the winner is dun, da, 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 Josh Graff. He nailed it right on the head, 83 items. Congratulations, Josh. We're going to get that mystery box out to you. Send us an email or hit us up on Instagram if you're on there and we'll coordinate getting your address so we can send that out to you. Because so many people entered, we had over 700 people who threw in a guess for the last one. So we wanna do another one. This video has to have at least 1,500 likes for us to do it. And the winner of the next one has to guess both my favorite color and a Dean's favorite color. You get them both right, this video gets 1,500 likes, you get a prize. We're gonna be moving into eBay sales now. So I've introduced a new angle. Has more natural light this way. Moving into eBay, we're gonna start off with shoes, why not? So Boggs is a great brand to look out for. I had a pair, they're very quality. Uh, they tend to be sort of like the outdoor hiking, waterproof, rain, work, that type of shoe. Not like your fancy shoes or anything like that. The shoes that you're gonna wear when you need to get work done. These sold for $35 and you can see that they paid shipping and we charge $11.75 for, for those boxes to ship in. That's usually covers it. Uh, it's That's a really, really good average of what we pay for shipping when it comes to shoes. It Another Tory Burch, but I put this one in here because as you can see, there's nothing crazy about it. It's not, it's not super blingy, it's not super fancy. It's really just a long sleeve shirt is all it is. In a dark green, it's got a little bit of ruffling on it. And I have the brand there. So you can see if you haven't seen a Tory Burch uh, brand before. Now this says 35 plus 675 shipping. We actually did take an offer on that and that was 27.96. Shipping stayed the same and this went international and international sales are great because we have it set up where the buyer pays return shipping, which generally means we are never getting it back if it goes international because it's not worth it for them to send it back. Another pair of Uggs, uh, this is their sweater style. These sold for $40. The tops on these are very easily rolled down so they do still fit in those 11 by eight by fives. We usually just kind of like fold it over nicely, fits in the box and they're not usually very heavy either. They're kind of just like a sweater shoe. Uh, probably not even really great for going out in tough snow but fashion. Athleta is a brand that I personally love. I have multiple pairs of Athleta pants and I have found that even though they're sort of geared into the leggings workout active wear, their regular pants or pants that you would wear more during the day that aren't leggings sell better. 
those are the types of pants that I look for in that brand personally because they're comfortable. When an activewear brand makes daywear, that tends to be the case. I loved the style of these corduroys too. Uh, I did not keep them. They are tall, which I'm just not tall. I know I look short standing next to a Dean, but that's because I'm actually short. It's not just he's freakishly tall. I am freakishly short as well. So unfortunately, these didn't fit me. They reminded me of a pair that I had in high school, which I probably shouldn't really be wearing those anymore anyway. But they've got the flare. They've got a low rise. Really awesome. $28 plus $8.75. So they went in a priority flat rate mailer. I think a lot of people recognize Sorel as a very high quality winter boot. These are some of the heavier duty boots that they have. I keep a pair just like this in green in the back of my car if I'm ever stuck in a snowbank. These are the kind of boots that I whip out if it just blizzarded all over town but I have to walk to the grocery store or I have to get somewhere. Like they're big, they're chunky, but they really get the job done. These are for serious outdoor days. We have them listed for 100 plus the 1575 shipping because these are gonna be heavy. They have very thick liners on top of the thick boot. Boots this size generally need their own box. They don't even fit in the 12 by 12 by eights, which is our next size up. So that's why we charge more when we see those big clunky boots. We did take an offer on these for $70 about two weeks after we had listed them. Lululemon has been really saturated over the last few years. Their regular leggings, I usually only list for about $20 unless they're still a crazy print or a nice unique style. They're still a great brand. It's just they're more available now. People have sort of caught on to that as will happen. So you always have to adjust and work with that. Solid, $20 is still solid though. So I'm still very happy to see Lululemon come through because that's a very solid brand. These ones, as you can see, have a wider leg, which is a lot more popular these days. It's coming back in um, the high waist. So these sold for the extra $25 and then $8.75, they would have gone in a priority flat rate as well. These are the last shoes I have. They are Skechers Shape Up boots, which that second picture there, you can see that they have that classic thick, chunky lower bottom. These are a newer style. These these had practically never even been worn. Um, and we did the twist test. We checked for that, for the dry rot damage because that can be a really big thing with these shape up styles. Since the rubber bottoms, they're just prone to that. So always make sure that you're checking that. I know some people don't even wanna deal with anything shape ups, but these have already been delivered, no return. So, so far so good. Uh, they sold for $35. And the 1475 because again they're taller so they're gonna need a bigger box to ship in my last three are from our old store we still keep it active and we do periodically list on there and i wanted to do this sale because it's very vintage hustling hooks pots and pans forever from us club aluminum uh, has been a brand that we've had very solid sales with when we were picking it up regularly no exception this is a set 85 dollars free shipping this cost about 12.75 to ship so i mentioned that because i'll do the numbers at the end and we'll include that in for the shipping we also sold some vintage toys right after the new year this beavis and butthead excuse my language if there's little ones in the room uh, $35 free shipping. These are just like really tiny figurines. So they went first class for $5.85. Can't beat that. $35 with only about a $5 shipping cost. That's great. And then we picked that up with a toy buy actually a long time ago. So those have been sitting for a while. We're always happy to see something like that out the door. This Barbie book, uh, Dean's sister gave this to us. I, I don't remember why but it was a long time ago and they were, had been sort of like decorations on our piano and then I was just making way for pictures and kind of decluttering as I will do periodically and I just said you know what I don't know why we have this still so let's see if we can sell it uh, and that's what we did we sold it for $24 it was a thicker book uh, you can't see from here but it had some weight to it so we did charge $5 for shipping and that would go media mail because it's a book 
That's all the sales. I'm gonna put the numbers together and then I'll go over those and show you what we would have made if those were the only sales that we had made over the holiday period. All right, so I did the numbers and I'm just gonna read them off for you. So the total sales of everything that I went over was $864.80. So that includes the shipping on the things that uh, we charged shipping for. Now shipping, because we have to take that out again, was $101.85. And for fees, I did a 15% average because we pay about 12 to 13 on eBay, depending on if it's sold on a promoted listing, and then 20% on Posh. So for fees, I did $129.72. And that's that 15% off the total. So that off of 864.80, uh, because it is charged when the shipping is included or not included either way for cost of goods i did an average of five dollars per piece uh, for some pieces it's more for some pieces it's less had a little bit uh higher sales in this particular mix so normally i would do like a three or four dollars but i did five and there were 22 pieces because the first one was a three piece so that was 110 dollars which left me with $523.23 before taking out taxes. So it's not your net net, but that's what would go into your bank account and then you would be responsible for taking taxes out and setting that aside for when you have to pay them, which isn't really too bad. That was about a week and a half window that I took these sales out of. And if this was just your part-time side hustle, that's pretty good. And if it's even your normal one, if you're running a smaller store, that's still great as well. Again, if you were only making 20 sales in that amount of time, I tried to pick brands and sales that would be worth it to sell. So not necessarily totally on the model that we run because again, we run a volume model so we can sell some lower stuff, but these were just ones that I thought you could find at thrift stores and that you could make a very decent profit on. Now that we're into the new year, I'm gonna be doing these more regularly, uh, meaning just once a week, anywhere from 15 to 20 sales, depending on how busy we are and what kind of sales we get in, what we can show you. So stay tuned for more of those. And a reminder, if you made it to the end of this video, that we do have our 2023 spreadsheet out. So that link is going to be down below. Thank you for watching this far, hanging out with me, and I really appreciate you. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful 2023, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.